Costa did like three months for him or something like that, you know, different places. Yeah, back and forth. You wrestled, uh, you wrestled Eddie Guerrero during this time too. Yeah, that, Eddie was Eddie was so guy, so easy, man. I, I wrestled Eddie, I think, when he was about 15. Okay, years old. Really? Over here in Texas, yeah. So I wrestled Eddie for years, but he's so easy to work with. Yeah, I love that. I worked with Eddie. Matter of fact, that was they told me that night they come in said, this is your tryout match. I went, what? It was, it was uh, one was Jimmy Hart and the different guys. So it was like three or four of them. Uh, and so I go, uh, they said, listen, uh, this is your tryout match. And I go, my tryout match? For what? For, for wrestling here. And I go, <laughs> I said, hey, you know what? I was in wrestling before you assholes were ever born. How do I gotta go try out? They go, that's just the way it's done now. Man, he okay? Accept it. I go, okay, let's go try out. <laughs> and, but when I looked under, I had Eddie Guerrero, I went, yeah, all right, dude, I got it made. Cause he's like day off, you know, night off, you know. It's funny, you, you wrestled a 15 year old Eddie Guerrero and then later on you're trying out for the company after, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> What was, what was it like in WCW at the time? Did you, did you, I mean, you were there for a little while. But. Yeah, you know, it, here's what I found about it. Like, it was nothing like territory days, you know? Because you would go and wrestle, and then the next day you're at the airport by yourself. Uh, you catch a cab or whatever. You get there and you fly and you get to the town. It, there's no camaraderie. You're never with anybody. You know, it's just, it's way different. You know what I mean? I don't think I was ready to really do it. You know, because I'd already done this for so many years, like you're saying, and I had done all <laughs> things. You, and then I'm going, well, look, okay, if, if I get into this full time, I'll never be home. I won't see my little girls grow up. Uh, probably lose my next wife uh, right before. You know, so I'm going, I don't, do I really want to go through? Do I really want to? It's wrestling. I mean, I'm making it okay. Do I really want to do this again? And so I didn't really push as hard as I did the first time. If I wanted to, I could have been there. Yeah. I could. Matter of fact, when I, like you're saying, when me and Roddy opened the, uh, the pit stop, um, transmission shop, automotive shop, there in Oregon, I, I got called three times by WWE to come in. And I turned them down three times. And I said, I, I, I gave my commitment to Roddy, and I go, I, I'm not, I got this business here, I can't leave it. And, that, and that's what I felt, you know, and so, so I didn't do it, but I got offered to go, and I even bought some people I knew was, come get some of this gravy, brother. They're giving guys money like you ain't believing. You know, I said, I can't, man, can't. Did they ever, did they ever tell you anything that they had in mind? Did they ever push any ideas? No, they just said, come on, we, they knew. I'd been a best, it was instant deal. It was like, hey man, this guy's a top worker everywhere. Well, then damn, damn sure you find a place for him here. You know, so they just, but I didn't, give them the opportunity. I just, and I thank them for calling me and asking me, but I just, sometimes I wish I would have. I go, well, should I? It probably would have been more of my, it would have been probably, I might have been one of those fellows I keep going, God bless them. I don't want, I'm glad I'm not. 